Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. In today's video, I am going to be making a simple and delicious Thanksgiving meal for our family of three using ingredients from Dollar Tree. Hey everybody, Jamie here from No Getting Off This Train and I just wanna say welcome to all of you who are new and those who are coming back. If you guys are kinda of confused as to what I'm doing, every single month I post a video of Dollar Tree meals. Usually it is three meals per video, $5 each, reasonably healthy. And what I'm trying to do is show you that yes, you can make food and good meals from Dollar Tree and still have them be relatively healthy. And in my last Dollar Tree meals video, Video, I asked you all what you would like to see in November and guys like all of you everybody said I want to see a Thanksgiving dinner and when I heard that like my mind just went blank like what in the world can I make from Dollar Tree that would make some sort of reasonable <laughs> Thanksgiving dinner because obviously there is no turkey like they don't sell giant turkeys and that is the staple of our family Thanksgiving so I needed to get creative I knew that for sure but thankfully you guys always give me all sorts of inspiration and creativity so I had gone to Dollar Tree and looked around and came up with a fairly good menu so a couple of things for First, some of you gave me price points. One of you said you wanted to see a $10 Dollar Tree Thanksgiving. I think somebody else said 15. So I had to play around with it and think, what can I make that actually looks like a Thanksgiving dinner and still be relatively low on the budget? I decided on a $15 price point that I would not spend more than $15 on the entire dinner. It also had to feed my family of three. It's going to end up feeding maybe between four and six, which means that for us, it's just going to give us leftovers, which is pretty awesome. And in my other Dollar Tree videos, I say that I try to make my meals kind of healthy, but listen, this is Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is not really meant to be like a healthy-ish kind of meal. You're gonna have all the carbs. You're gonna have all the desserts. So I didn't worry too much about everything being healthy. You'll see some green beans in here, but you'll also see like cream of whatever soup and there are sticks of margarine, which I typically don't ever use in my everyday cooking. But since this is like Dollar Tree stuff and not supposed to be technically all that healthy anyway, I went ahead and bought all of this. But on this menu, I have an actual entree. I also have like two or three sides and I made a dessert. So I'm getting ready to cook it all right now. But first, let me take you through the Dollar Tree store and show you everything that I got. So like I said before, I could not find anything turkey related. They didn't have canned turkey, nothing in the frozen section. So I decided to go with canned chicken as my protein. I knew I wanted to make some sort of a chicken and stuffing casserole. So two cans of chicken, then I made my way over to the stuffing. I wasn't sure how many boxes I needed. So I went ahead and grabbed two of them just in case. Then of course, mashed potatoes. I found uh, bags and boxes of the instant mashed potatoes, but I grabbed one box. I knew that would be just enough. I know it needs margarine and milk. A um, Couple things I have at home already. And then mashed potatoes need gravy. This one has three packets in it, so I can use the other two for a different meal. And I wanted to make a green bean casserole and lo and behold, like this entire end cap, amazing. It had all the things I needed for a green bean casserole. So got two cans of green beans, grabbed a can of cream of mushroom soup. And on the very top, they had a bag of the crispy onions. Then I went ahead and grabbed a can of cream of chicken soup. I figured I would need that for the stuffing casserole. And I, I looked for a dessert. They did, I wanted that cheesecake mix down there, but Dollar Tree was totally out of pie crust. They didn't have Cool Whip, which sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. So I browsed around, couldn't find anything just yet. So I moved on and I was so excited to find these, these dinner rolls. I don't see them very often. I had seen them here before, but this would make a perfect addition to a Thanksgiving dinner. And finally, I settled on the brownie cookie bar mix. I know I need an egg and some margarine or butter. I decided to pick that up, a non-traditional dessert. 
and I knew they had sticks of margarine, so I bought just a box of that. I think I needed to use maybe a couple of them, but here is everything in my cart, $14, and we're gonna make a Thanksgiving dinner. So as you saw, that was about $14 worth of stuff, and I may need to play around with that a little bit, just depending on what happens when I start cooking. So it's gonna be my first time attempting something like this. So I am actually really excited to get started. I need to start getting everything ready. So let me take you to the counter and show you what is going on. All right, let me kind of take you through everything first. So as the entree, I decided on a chicken and stuffing casserole. So I've got two cans of the chicken here, as well as the can of cream of chicken soup. And as you saw during the store shopping, I picked up two boxes of these, but all the recipes that I looked at for a casserole only called for one box. So I'm gonna start with the one box and go from there and see if I need more. As a side item, we will be making green bean casserole, just the simple, the simplest you can with green beans, cream mushroom soup, and then some crispy onions. Another side item will be these mashed potatoes. It's just standard instant mashed potato mix, as well as some gravy I'll be making. And then these rolls right here, I'll be baking up as well. Then for dessert, I am making this brownie cookie mix. So this looks delicious. I need to get started. The oven is preheated to 350. So let's start working on this casserole first. All right, here we are. So I'm kind of not following the recipe. I did look at some of the recipes on Pinterest for a standard chicken and stuffing casserole. And one of the recipes, actually a couple of them said to put this stuffing mix in a bowl and um, like let it soak with either chicken broth or water. So I'm gonna start with just one box of this, like I said. And then I have just one cup of water, so I'm gonna stir it around here in a second and see if that's enough. I think it might be okay, um, because it's just gonna soak up, well, maybe I'll try a little bit more. I've got about a cup and a half now, so I think that'll be good. I'll just let this sit for a couple of minutes and it said chicken broth, but you know what? With all the cream and chicken soup and stuff, I think it's gonna have enough sodium. So I'm just gonna add a bunch of pepper to it to give it a little bit more flavor. So let's just let this kind of sit for a few minutes while I get everything else together. I've got lots of can opening to do here. I am going to put the chicken and stuffing casserole and the green bean casserole in the oven at the same time, probably for about 30 minutes or so. So excuse me while I open up all these cans. I drained what needed to be drained. So now let me add both of these cans of chicken just to this little eight by eight casserole dish. It's really <laughs> not a whole lot of chicken. And it, yeah, it looks kind of weird. But you know, I've had this chicken quite a few times before. It's really not all that bad. It looks weird, but I mean, it's chicken. Just gonna pour the soup directly in. I guess I'll just mix around the soup and the chicken. I don't know, I've had similar recipes to this before. Um, usually a slow cooker recipe. And it has been really super good. Uh, you just pour in like the stuffing mix and the broth and cream of chicken soup. And then you would take actual uncooked chicken and put that in the slow cooker and then cook that for a few hours and oh gosh like I don't know about you guys but I love boxed stuffing mix I know it is not the best for you but listen leave me a comment tell me 
do you prefer like the the box of stuffing mix over homemade like I like my homemade stuffing I do use um, or I make a cornbread stuffing which is really really good but there's just something about stove top or just regular box stuffing it is so good so yeah I think the cup and a half of the water was perfect so I will just spread all of this right on top here. And then once that's done, I'll set it aside really quick and work on the green bean casserole. Oh my goodness, look at this. It is so yummy looking and it smells like Thanksgiving in here now. So let's get this green bean casserole started. So basically same thing, I'm just dumping out the green beans and the cream of mushroom soup. I'm just gonna mix that together. I know some other recipes call for like milk to be mixed in with it, I guess, but I'm gonna try it without and see what happens. I think, I think there's enough liquid in here that it'll be okay. Green bean casserole, by the way, is also one of my favorites and is typically a staple in our house. I try to make turkey stuffing, the cornbread stuffing. I'll usually either make it myself or have somebody else make the green bean casserole. Then, oh gosh, just a random assortment of other things. Sometimes I get creative, sometimes I just go with whatever whatever is comfortable. Then we've got these crispy onions. I love how at Dollar Tree they had all the stuff for the green bean casserole like conveniently on the end cap. Made things so much easier. I'm just gonna pour the entire thing on top. Is that? Oh, that was it. All right. Let's make sure it's nice and even. All right. Let's get these in the oven. I need to put these guys next to each other because I'm gonna be putting the dinner rolls in the oven when about five minutes out, I think, or five minutes left of cooking time. So let's get these in and let's work on some other things. All right, while those casseroles are baking, I'm gonna go ahead and get this brownie cookie bar mix all put together. So I, when I bought this originally, I thought it said um, like what, Duncan Hines or Betty Crocker or something like that. But no, this is Continental Chef, which I think is Dollar Tree. Um, maybe, I don't know. Um, but it's, there is a different store brand anyway. So, um, so it says first, we need to get the brownie batter ready. So we actually need a large egg. So I've got my egg here. We need to stir the brownie mix with one egg and three tablespoons of melted butter. So, like I said, I gave myself $15 to spend on Dollar Tree stuff. It looks like I'm going to be using, what, thir $13 or something like that. Like, I spent $14, but I only used one of the boxes of the stuffing mix. So, you could take that the, the egg and whatever out out of the out of the other dollar or two I guess I know some people say I should probably account for spices and the the egg a little bit of milk things like that so that is what I did oh what I hate about margarine is that it's just it's very 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 soft much softer than butter so it will not take long to melt that Okay, yeah, that did not take very long at all. So like I said before during the actual shopping trip, I wanted to make a pie or some sort of pie-like creation. And they just so happened to be out of pie crust at that point. Um, they also didn't have any whipped cream, like the Cool Whip. So I couldn't, I don't know. I. I could have tried to make some sort of a pumpkin pie creation. Pretty sure they had canned pumpkin, 
but I chose instead to make this just because it was super easy and with everything I've got going on right now, I figured this was just a better option. So now the cookie dough, I need to stir in the cookie mix, two tablespoons of water and four tablespoons of softened butter. So, here we go. You know though, I think these will turn out perfectly. I know that pumpkin pie is the traditional Thanksgiving dessert, but you don't have to make pumpkin pie. You could do whatever you want. Some people don't like pumpkin pie. Some people prefer apple pie. So hey, listen, tell me. Leave me a comment and tell me, like what is your staple when it comes to Thanksgiving? Whether it's a dessert, whether it's a side item. I know some people don't even do turkey on Thanksgiving. They do just something different. So I'm just, I'm just curious. I, I like trying a little bit of new things every year. All right, let me put in the water real quick. So sometimes I like to do just different, different types of side items for my Thanksgiving dinner. A couple years in a row, I've made like a squash casserole, which I feel like turned out pretty good. It's just, um, I think it was both yellow squash and zucchini that was uh, sliced into little coins and you put like a breadcrumb mixture on top and bake it in the oven. I think there was Parmesan cheese in there too. And that was really good. I tried to add some sort of healthy-ish vegetable dish. I guess it just, I don't know, it depends on the year. Made that a couple times and that was pretty good. And then I pretty much always try to make a pumpkin pie. Like if we're having, if I'm making the dessert, it is usually a pumpkin pie. Um, sometimes I'll serve something else to go with it too, but usually a pumpkin pie. All right, that looks pretty well done. Now let me get this in the container, the, the pan real quick. Now I'm not baking this just yet because I have no room in the oven, but luckily it bakes at 350 along with everything else. So just stick it right in when everything else is done. I've got 10 minutes left on the casseroles so that means I need to get a move on with the mashed potatoes and the gravy. It won't take too long though. Okay, then it says to drop heaping tablespoons full of the cookie mix on to the, the brownie mix. So just kind of do that. I'm actually excited about this. I love brownies and I love cookies. So mixing this together, like this is my dream come true. Cookies are my absolute weakness. Well, no, I would say cheesecake. Cheesecake is my true weakness, but cookies are also way up there. It's hard to keep cookies in the house, especially like freshly baked cookies because they are usually gone. All right, that's pretty good for now. Let me just set this aside and let's get started on the mashed potatoes and the gravy. All right, I'll try to get these two at the same time. So I want this to serve six. So for four servings, I need a one and a third cup of water and two tablespoons of butter, but make it serve six. I believe I need two cups of water and three tablespoons of butter, uh, probably about a teaspoon of salt. So let's get that going real quick. Luckily, this is super easy to put together. Once it starts boiling, it will not take very long at all. Oh gosh, this margarine is so soft. Just go ahead and turn it on. That way it can hurry up and heat. Got the salt. Anything else? Oh, I need milk. So another two cups of milk looks like. So yeah, that this is another thing where you can since I only spent 13, or I guess 13 out of the $15, we can take that milk out of it too. Got that going on high. Let's look at the gravy. Um, one content, the content of one package into a saucepan, stir one cup of cold water with a whisk. I need another whisk. All right. 
I used both whisks already, so we'll have to find another one somewhere. I think I'll just use a fork. I believe that would work just as well. And I need to get the rolls in the oven. I need to bake them for about five minutes and we've got like four minutes left on the casseroles. So let's get these on here. I am super excited about these rolls, by the way. Like I was excited to see that Dollar Tree had dinner rolls. These are fully baked. Looks like you just need to brown them. So, yeah. And I guarantee you that this is the only thing that Allison will eat tonight. Besides the brownies, of course. All right, let's get this in real quick. All right, we're getting there. It's only taking me, what, 40, 40 minutes or so to make a Thanksgiving dinner. That is not bad. I'll spend 40 minutes in the kitchen for a simple Thanksgiving dinner. And I need three cups of these flakes. So I will go ahead and at least pour it in here. That way they are ready when the water heats up. All right, let's get these guys out of here. All right. There's the green beans. And there's the stuffing and chicken casserole. So, yeah, I suppose that looks all right. I mean, cream, and, cream of soup or what? I mean, it's, I don't know, it's liquid, right? It's not, I mean, it's pretty thick. I think it's what green bean casserole is supposed to look like, I think. Let me get these rolls out too. So those are nice and warm. Hello. Hello. All right, y'all. Let's um, pay attention next time, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Don't tell me that has never happened at your house. There we go. We have mashed potatoes. And I made a mess. Okay, there's that. And the gravy is just about done. Okay, I think we did it, y'all. We had a small mishap, but it's okay. We did it. I'll take that off the heat, and then let me show you what we have. All right, so there's the gravy and the mashed potatoes, and I've got the chicken and stuffing casserole and the green bean casserole, and then I have the rolls right here. Let me get these cookie bars in the oven, and I'm going to serve up this dinner. All right, I think, I think we made it. So I'm going to dish up everything. I know during Thanksgiving, you usually serve it up like family style or whatever, but since this is the just the three of us, I'm gonna try to put everything, um, like divide it all evenly because we like to have leftovers and I know how much everything makes. So I would like to divide it up into containers. That way we know like we're, we're getting enough for food, for food. This casserole right here serves four which is actually a ton of food. I'm super excited. But um, the other stuff serves six. So the green beans, the mashed potatoes. So we'll have to see. Um, I might, I think I have a little bit of chicken in the freezer. So I might actually just cook up some chicken real quick later and eat that with everything, just so nothing goes to waste.
All right, here it is, our Dollar Tree Thanksgiving. This is a ton of food. I am going to dig in. And then just as a little preview, this is what it all looks like when it is put into containers. I've got the two with the casserole in here and then none in here. Like I said, I'll add some chicken in there later probably, but this is how you do Thanksgiving dinner for $13 at Dollar Tree. So I got to show you guys what the Thanksgiving dinner looks like and I got to tell you my thoughts on it. Haven't tried any of it yet, but as you can see, it's so much food. So I've got the chicken and stuffing casserole, which really looks like typical Thanksgiving stuffing. And it really is delicious, holy cow. So, I mean, yeah, cream of chicken soup. It's got chicken, stuffing, tastes just like Thanksgiving. And then we've got our mashed potatoes with the packet of gravy. And it's not bad. A little bit salty, but I did add a lot of salt to the potatoes and the gravy is probably pretty salty as well, but you know, it's all right. And then we got green bean casserole. Which is pretty much green bean casserole. The onions totally make it. They're still nice and crunchy after being in the oven for 30 minutes. Dinner roll is, I mean, it's a dinner roll. If you have butter, have butter on it. We're gonna eat our dinner and the cookie bars are just about ready to come out of the oven and I will show you what they look like when they're done. Okay, these came out of the oven a little bit ago and they are pretty much finished cooling. It's been about 20 minutes, but don't these just look amazing? So these serve 12. So I'm going to cut them evenly, as evenly as I can here. So yeah, I do try to pay attention to portion sizes. Just, you know, it's always a, a good thing to do to kind of know how much you're eating. By the way, I thoroughly enjoyed the Thanksgiving dinner, but I will, I will amend my previous statement about those dinner rolls. I should have tried them on camera for you guys. They actually had a weird taste to them. Like we couldn't quite put our finger on it. I kind of felt like it tasted like cardboard, which I know is weird, but yeah, it tasted kind of like the cardboard that it, that it came in in the package. So I don't know, maybe it was just a fluke, but I will let you guys decide whether you want to try them for yourselves. All right, there is that. Now we get to try them and see how they are. They look super, super good. Anything cookies, anything chocolate is definitely my kind of dessert. So there's one for me. Then we've got one for Allison. All right, here it is. These brownie cookie bars look amazing. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that is super, super good. So the chocolate from the brownie, the cookie, it's not hard. Like, you know how a, like a chewy cookie would be. It's, it's soft-ish just like the brownie mix, but, but honestly, a really good dessert and a slightly good you know non-traditional Thanksgiving dessert so I'm gonna go enjoy this so what did you guys think this is the day after and I will tell you later that night I got really really thirsty so that tells me that this meal obviously has a lot of sodium in it so just keep that in mind drink plenty of water you guys will be fine and actually like an hour an hour or so after I finished the meal and ate it and everything I just sat there and I was like, I did it. I actually made like a makeshift Dollar Tree Thanksgiving meal. It was actually really good and we're eating the leftovers again today. So it worked out. Now, is it perfect? Definitely not. 
It is just a makeshift Thanksgiving meal, but you know what? I think I did a pretty darn good job based on what was inside my store. So altogether, the ingredients cost me only $13. I ended up not using that one box of stuffing, but I'll use it for another meal later. No worries. I mean, you could technically say I spent maybe 14 ish when you add in like the eggs and the milk, but honestly, still not bad. A full Thanksgiving meal for $13, $14. I'm pretty proud of myself. And hopefully it encourages you that yes, you can have a simple yet delicious Thanksgiving dinner on a very low budget and still feed, you know, your immediate family because I know that nowadays you can't really get together with extended family at the moment. So if you liked this video, can you please do me a favor and share this with everybody that you know, share this with people that you think might benefit from something Something like this who may either be by themselves for Thanksgiving or have just a very small family that's getting together this year I want to encourage you guys that you can do a lot on a small budget and I'm so excited that I was able to do this for you and also I need ideas for next month December's Dollar Tree Meals video I don't know if I want to do a Christmas dinner using Dollar Tree ingredients because to be honest with you, my Christmas dinner is basically the same as my Thanksgiving dinner and I don't wanna do the same thing twice. So if you have any other ideas, whether it's Christmas themed, like I don't know if I can do a Christmas breakfast or like, I don't know, um, stocking stuffers, but it's not really a Dollar Tree meal. But if you guys have any ideas, anything you wanna see, please let me know because I will get, I will get that out to you guys as soon as I can in December. And make sure that you subscribe to this YouTube channel. I've got plenty of other Dollar Tree meal videos. Check the link in the description for the playlist and ring that bell so you can be notified when more of these videos come out and all of my grocery hauls, recipes, and meal planning tips. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all and I will see you later.